Hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy and this is the number 46 chew review. And as you just saw, it is of Star Peach. If I look a little bit off tonight, if I'm a little squinty, I have a sinus headache at the moment. It's been a rather long day, but I did say I would be doing this, so here I am. So you have the standard Swisher buy one, get one free box, which all of their products seem to be in with the exception of the mail pouch. Now, there is actually a code on this, and I did not realize this before, but there is a code on the one end. It is the end of the box that does not have the pull tab, and there is a code up there, and it is from 2019, which reaffirms what I was already thinking. For whatever reason, the Star, the regular Star product, Star Original, is in the new packaging. But everywhere I've seen the Peach, including this box obviously, it is in the old style still. And According to the date code, if I got it right on this, this was made in early May of this year. Although I may have that wrong and it could be set back one month. But bottom line is, if you see the Star Peach and it's in the old style packaging, doesn't necessarily mean that it is old they would seem to be still putting the peach out in the old packaging. So you have a box and it has two bags in it. All right. For a net weight on the box of six ounces, two three ounce bags. On the bottom, you have the fact that it is a product of Swisher International Incorporated of Wheeling, West Virginia. www.swisher.com is the website. Right there is the domestic foreign. The domestic is, and I'm going to look again because it's one of those Swisher numbers, 46.5. Five percent domestic and 53.5 percent foreign underneath that you have the barcode and the BCT stamp which is the tobacco and confectionery union which may be and as I've said before I am NOT a fan of unions ideological stance um, not to put it as if I am against people that are in unions I it, anyway in this case it may be a good thing because Swishers chewing tobacco products or loose leaf products tend to be a little bit better than their dip so at the one end it's a regular fold over box at the other end you have a t pull tab if you can see that right there all right so you pull it up and as I mangled this box that I was going to save and then you have two pouches inside for this review we will only need one so I'm gonna put the box aside the pouches are a fold over two-way fold over pouch it should have some glue dots inside each pouch is three ounces as I said before on the bottom is basically all the information as before with the exception of not for individual sale there instead of the barcode. 
Okay, so I'm going to open this up. And it has a flap like that and then a flap going the other way at the top and a bunch of glue dots which I will check now to see I have never had this product by the way holy crap there's a lot of glue dots in this thing and then there's a break in it I'm not even sure what that is one two three four five six seven eight nine dash ten ten glue dots ah good old swisher just making it up as we go along here the product is pretty strong smell of peach coming off the product the product is it's not wet as a stoker's product but it is It's moist, it's tacky to the touch, and it looks fairly moist. You know, there's there's not, a, a lot of chews are not, most chews are not the moisture levels of stokers. So, I don't know if I can get an angle on that. Now, there are a lot of blonde highlights I'm noticing right off the bat. And there doesn't seem to be too much stem material. The stuff is pretty supple and as I said tacky to the touch it seems like a very long stranded cut it's it, it's got some very long pieces in it and I'm gonna try to get you see what I mean but this thing coming down here I'm not even sure if that's a stem to tell you the truth and if it is it's like a third tier stem it's not even secondary I'll tell you that but all the tobacco is sort of on the longer end it seems fairly well treated with whatever concoction that they use for this but there are still blonde highlights so we'll see it smells pretty good it, it actually now I actually have been chewing once or twice a day for the last couple of days uh, Stoker's Peach just so I would have something to sort of play this off of. So I'm going to throw this in and I'm going to hit the pause button and then I'll be back. Back in a moment. And back in a moment. So, I am back. Uh, this is probably the best Swisher product I've ever had. Not that that's really saying much, because <laughs> it wouldn't take too much to beat every other Swisher product I've ever had. But this is probably the best. Uh, they've done a pretty darn good job of this. Now... I still think due to moisture levels and the flavor, I prefer the Stoker's Peach over this, but I also realize this is probably easier to find. And it's close enough, it's comparable. In my opinion, the Stoker's Peach is a little bit more of a natural peach flavor. Not to say this is overly candy-like. This isn't like Timberwolf peach dip. But Stoker's just has an edge on that naturalness. This is good, though. I mean, their chewing tobaccos from Swisher are all right most of them i believe have gotten a pass from me with the exception of the bowie which i it was just too weird i you know i maybe, maybe i was too quick to judgment on that but it was just very odd and swisher in general has sort of shaded me out now but this this is all right um and you know the regular star was all right it, i mean it's an original. It wasn't Red Man, but it was all right. 
Uh, I'm trying to think some of the other ones I've had. The mail pouch. It was all right. It could have been better, but it was a, a, a lot of their chews, with the exception of the Bowie, which I just did not like the flavor, whatever that flavor was. But you know what? The fact that I didn't know or couldn't place what the flavor was sort of was what sunk that that product in my mind. Um, with the exception of that, the Swisher chews are by far better than what Swisher puts in a round can. Okay. Uh, all of their chews I would take over a can of kayak any day uh, or Silver Creek. So this, if you see it, if you like chew, I'd give it a try. Now it's going to have chew levels of nicotine, which is low. Uh, for me, chew is more of a flavor thing. Um, it produces a lot more spit. With me, it usually even more than so than on these videos. I think because I'm talking in these videos, it's not as bad. I'm not like hitting the mud jug like every five seconds. When I'm outside though, I usually pack larger and it produces more. Normally the product is Stoker's though. But I will finish this bag and I can see why Dirty Pat Walsh likes this stuff and I may very well send him up the other one because I'm gonna be backing up on Chew here soon. Um, if you see this stuff, you know, it's buy one, get one. They're usually, it depends what state you're in, but it's usually, it, it can be as low as like six. It may in some states like Florida be up high towards eight. It's two pouches though. They are three ounces a piece. It's still not a bad deal really. Uh, it's, you know, it's six ounces instead of three if you got Redman. So, Star Peach, it's probably the best Swisher product and definitely the best of their chews that I've had. It is still in the old packaging, being released recently in the old packaging. So if you see the old packaging, don't be like, ah, that, that, that must be like a year or two old. Nah, they're, they're still bringing it down this. The peach is natural-ish. Uh, not quite as natural as the Stoker's product. It's sweet, but not to the point of, you know, candy. It, it, it's sort of in between. It, it's threading the needle between natural and candy-ish, but it, it's not in either camp, really. It's good, though. It is good. It's comfortable in the mouth. It packs down well. It's very stringy, um, but there's no like primary stems at all, or secondary for that matter. So it's comfortable in the mouth, there's nothing pokey. I'd give it a try. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy. I have not been online at all today. So I'm not doing any shout outs this evening. That said, the next chew review, I will catch up with all of them. I do hope everyone is well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.